Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. For the last few weeks, I've been testing out another highly popular launcher. One that allows you to automatically sync your Microsoft Office documents and notes from your Windows PCs or laptops to your Android devices. Three years on from its official release, let's take a look at the Microsoft Launcher. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. Typically, I love to keep all of my home screens simple, elegant and to one page with emphasis on those custom made live wallpapers. However, as like most of you out there, I want seamless access to all of my notes and documents regardless of what device I'm using. And this is what the Microsoft Launcher aims to resolve. The setup is very simple, just install it free from the Play Store, then follow the on-screen prompts to log into your Microsoft Windows account and you're ready to go. By default, your home screen should look something like this. And as a little surprise, they've snuck in shortcuts to the Microsoft suite of apps, just in case you needed them. But what really differentiates this launcher from the rest is its integration within the Microsoft ecosystem. Starting with the Bing wallpapers. With a single button press, you'll be able to apply high quality wallpapers sourced directly from Microsoft's very own Bing search engine. Personally, this is not a feature that I would use, but for those of you who love photography wallpapers, I'm sure you'd enjoy it. Next up, the area that really sold me on this launcher, the Your Feed section. Located on the leftmost page of the home screen, this feed houses a combination of widgets, news and other at a glance data which is tied directly to your Microsoft account. Just simply follow the steps indicated on this page to fully sync your Microsoft account to your devices. Personally, I like to use the Windows 10 sticky notes to quickly jot down video ideas such as your live video wallpaper suggestions. And because everything is synced automatically together, I know I can quickly and easily access these notes regardless of where I am or what device I'm using. This also works the same for any calendars or OneDrive documents that you have synced to your account. Here, you can also find sections for news updates and even Microsoft's timeline. For those of you that are unfamiliar with Timeline, it allows you to pick up where you left off within support apps across other devices. But don't worry, if you don't want to see the news updates or if there's anything else that you don't like, you can always disable them within the launcher settings. Another very interesting aspect of this launcher is the dock panel. Just simply swipe up from the dock icons to access this extended menu. Here, you'll be able to house your favorite quick launcher apps, much like Samsung's Edge panel. As you can probably tell, it also houses a set of toggles for your phone and even a brightness slider, all of which can be rearranged either with a long press or even turned off completely through the launcher settings. Surprisingly, this launcher has a high level of customization, especially compared to when it was originally released. It even comes with a high performance mode located within its advanced settings to help those older phones out. I highly recommend that you guys check it out, especially if you use Windows 10 on a daily basis and you want instant access to your files on the go without installing multiple third party apps. There's a lot going on under the hood here, so let me know if you want a more detailed guide on its inner workings and how to use it, or even if there's an alternative launcher that you want me to check out. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.